Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm, I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is Gorilla Metal. That is right, good evening everyone, it's Friday Night Stand Firm and we are in the driver's seat, we've got one hand on our stick shift and we're cranking it hard as we roll down the road to Fastlane, the final stop on the way to JFW wrestlemania and that is a pay-per-view title we invented right here in the jfw jfw wrestlemania 2021 coming at you next month but we got a long way to go to get there and we're gonna hear from our most recently crowned champion jimmy fantastic in the middle of the ring for the first time tonight folks and we're gonna see his beautiful face on the tv talking about that wham dope champion the most beautiful belt in professional wrestling and we might find out who he's going to face this Sunday at Fastlane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there he is. He's got a spring to step, a smile on his glorious face. It's your Wemdope champion, Jimmy. Fantastic. Let's hear what he's got to say. Hello, JFW Universe. I've got to say, it's fantastic to be back. And it feels glorious to be the champion again. But you need to be a glorious champ. You do need opponents to beat. And apparently my microphone isn't working. But I need an opponent at Fastlane. So I'm issuing an open challenge. First come, first served. I'll be in the ring to start the show. Come find me and bring everything you've got. Hopefully, particularly sausage rolls from Greg's. But whoever I fight, I'm going to kick the shit out of them. Because I'm the greatest champ there is. I don't know why the microphone isn't working, but it doesn't matter. Because, you know, you expect issues with promos, don't you? Fucking tin pot company this JFW is. So anyway, see ya! <laughs> Alright, well... Jimmy having some audio issues there, folks. If you couldn't pick it up on the live feed, he's issuing an open challenge for the Wendell title, one of my favorite types of matches, because we get to dwell on who we think it's going to be to answer that call. Any predictions, Jimmy Ventura? Uh, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? It could be anyone. Uh, the the Wendell Championship, of course, very... Uh very prestigious and uh, Jimmy Fantastic holding it can only elevate it so looking forward to see who uh, <laughs> who's going to be challenging for that <laughs> absolutely and that's how we're going to start our night on fast lane and coming up next to, oh well Jimmy G and and Elliot off to a rocky start as a tag team Jimmy forgot how to count to 10 got himself counted out against the champion extra arms bot and bezel found a more embarrassing way to lose to them than we had already expected. So we're going to put the training wheels on for this one. Steel cage around the ring this time. Dimmy can't fuck up and get himself counted out. Now, if he finds a way out of that ring somehow, he'll actually win. Uh, but he's going up against the former champs dressed for business. Lemon is good and Fan Fox. Steel cage match against Elliot and Dimmy fucking G. No, baby. And you say he forgot to count to ten. I mean, the question is, did he ever know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, he probably knew, but he thought he probably thought seven came after nine. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. <laughs> and here they are, former Two Heads champions. Would love to win this nasty cage match to open Friday. Stand firm get back to their winning ways and get back in the title picture. And speaking of the title picture for the two heads titles, your main event tonight is going to be the team of SAS, that Skuro and Satterfield taking on the father-son duo Breaking Dad and Matt Storm. And the winners of that match will go this Sunday to Fastlane and face Das fucking hats oh baby i haven't seen dos hats in a while they've had a nice extended break gearing up for this pay-per-view you know they're going into it feeling confident yeah oh boy <laughs> timmy and elliot 
that's all. I was I was actually formulating that joke in my head as I was saying, and I was like, ah, I'm never going to get that out now. <laughs> Breaking Storm and Matt <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, bra speaking of breaking something, breaking bad over here, you got Walter White and his fucking airhead sidekick, Dimmy fucking G. Probably a meth head, too. Yeah, that's science, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the white boy dancing uh, is on fire right now. <laughs> it works pretty great, I think, the entrance music. I was pretty happy yeah. with it. <laughs> who's, whose entrance is that? No idea. Is it the... Oh, I think it's the... Um, not the Players Club. Who, what are they called? I don't know. They had, like, two surnames. There was someone I'd never heard of. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy, here's the steel cage. Yep. <laughs> No Ten counts. million pounds of hard steel just descended around the ring, and Lemon instantly taken out. Oh, God, it's going to be hard to keep track of Lemon and Elliot. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a clash. <laughs> it's possible that Elliot coming into this match wearing uh, the skinned cousin of Lemon <laughs> just, just to play mind games with him. Maybe. Street Profits, that's who I was thinking of, yeah. I don't think it's them, though. No, it's definitely not. It's like, you know, Blake and... Oh, it's, uh, yeah, 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 it's, uh, Wesley Blake and, uh, the other guy. Oh, is it um, Blake? I don't know where you're going. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know who exactly who it is, uh, but I can't remember the other name. Oh, brilliant. And here we go, that monkey flipped to Dimmy, and, oh, look at that. <laughs> can't go out of the ring, Dimmy. <laughs> Dimmy. <laughs> our best hope, oh, and another monkey flip there, <laughs> and dressed and for another business monkey are flip. flipping him off. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of flipping going on here, and you gotta believe the best case scenario for Elliot and Demi G is for Demi to climb to the top and remember not to jump back in the cage. <laughs> oh, that'd be too good. Uh, I sure would. I gotta let a dog out. Oh boy, yeah. The the the, the, the whole new Elliot look it doesn't really work well against Lemon, does it? But never mind. Oh boy, he's very yellow. Dimmy just teeing off on Lemon. Oh, he's Dimmy's trying to climb oh, the cage. Here we Let's go. go. <laughs> Dimmy got to climb. He's desperately trying to get himself counted out again. I don't know if anyone's explained the rules here. No, nope, look <laughs> at that. <laughs> Lemon excited to go after Dimmy G. Dimmy though with the quick kick. Oh no, he's jumping. <laughs> just jumped down. Oh, oh wow, the old self rock bottom though. Dimmy and Elliot in control here. Oh, they were in control. And now Elliot going to climb out, but there, there's uh... <laughs> <laughs> he <jumped out. laughs> Well, he connected. He got Lemon is good, but I think he was aiming for uh, Fan Fox there. Oh, the big spine And there's buster. the spine buster. And it might be followed suit with the Fox bottom. Yeah, I think it will oh. be. No, maybe not. I've got to let him. another dog out. <laughs> oh, and now, of course, Fan Fox can defend or just climb up himself. All right. Well, Elliot and Dimmy are both down. And Fan Fox... Oh, and, and now both have dressed for business. Lemon getting his foot <laughs> up and over. Can he get down before <laughs> Dimmy gets to him? Doesn't look like it. Dimmy going to have to drag him in desperately. Or just stand there doing nothing. <laughs> this could be bad for both members of Dress for Business. Got to take a big fall here. Yep. Medium fall here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, everyone teetering on those oh. ropes. And there goes Smashes there goes the through. first one. And look oh. at this. If, if Lemon oh, falls oh, here now. Oh, he fell over. right on him. And here we go, Dimmy and Elliot. Oh, oh Fan God. Fox is up. Fan Fox, Fox is, is up. up. Can he get to him in time, though? Dimmy not climbing very quick. No, and here comes up. Fan Fox. Oh, Lemon's Dimmy's over. Here. Dimmy's over. Oh, Wait, is he? Is Dimmy, Dimmy going to do Dimmy it? Dimmy got his nut caught on the cage. No. 
And now Lemon is back in on him and dragging desperately. Oh, oh Timmy's kicked, kicked him off! Timmy kicked free! Timmy kicked free! <laughs> Timmy's gonna do it! He's gonna do it! Timmy G, you can't keep him in the ring, that's for damn sure. <laughs> He's up and over! And just like that, <laughs> Elliot and Timmy G with the big win! <laughs> Amazing. Or do they both have to escape? Oh, apparently they do! Ah, Timmy is free! <laughs> Timmy's free! But I think he might... That makes no sense, though! It's gonna make it harder for them! Oh, oh Timmy, what are you doing? Timmy's fucked it again! I mean, we, we can't really make fun of him, because we didn't know that stipulation yep. either! <laughs> Oh dear, but Demi now leaving Elliot to be massacred by these two inside of the cage. And he's gonna be hit rock bottom. And Timmy See just standing you. there helplessly. <laughs> Elliot takes the fox bottom and here comes Lemon is good and here comes Spitfire! Oh, Funfus can't climb up because he's got the same part that Lemon's on! <laughs> Lemon is up and out and here comes Spitfire! <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> what a stupid match. Oh dear. Oh. I did not know that's how these ran. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Oh, what a maneuver from Elliot! <laughs> Blue Thunder Bomb, Lemon is good, has escaped the cage, it's down to Elliot and Fan Fox. Oh, what is Elliot doing? He's confused. Hello, Lemon. You missed, you uh, missed Timmy <laughs> climbing out of the cage, which we both thought it meant that his team had won, but it didn't. It just left it just left Elliot in there with Lemon and Fan Fox, then Lemon's escaped, and now it's just Elliot and Fan Fox. Like, literally, but there's pinfalls in this match too, yeah, aren't there? Yeah, Like, so they could have just pinned him. It's so stupid. How would you win? <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. It doesn't make any sense, though. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Like, what if they both pinned Elliot? Would they just win because they could then climb out? Yeah, like... yeah, yeah. It's like they might just well, you might just win straight up with the first pin, might you? Like, what if it's a tag match? Oh, look at this. Got him. Elliot's got it. Oh. I think, but here comes Fan Fox again. No, Fan Fox is busy blowing the Invisible Man. <laughs> <laughs> and and Elliot is down, and Dimmy, Dimmy did not destroy their chances <laughs> by escaping too soon. <laughs> that was terrible. Cage <laughs> matches are so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe the two people would make it better. Yeah, yeah, you'd think so, but. <laughs> Well, folks, that uh, is a win in their belts, and now that means we're probably stuck seeing more of this duo. It's the Blitz Pit Boys, Dimmy, Fucking G, and Elliot. <laughs> yep. There you go. That that's them two, right? What a disaster tonight's been. An absolute disaster, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about. The mad, the show just got started. <laughs> and here, speaking of disasters, it's Dave! One-on-one -on -one against Bezel, his opponent for Sunday night. <laughs> Extra arms bot. Gonna be in Bezel's corner. Yep. Yep. <laughs> what else can you say to hype that match up? <laughs> Damn know. Dave is going to take up 10 minutes of our time on Sunday night, <laughs> losing the extra arms bot. It's Dave. The question is, will he die or not? Isn't it? That's a good question. Uh, six feet down under might get a new recruit on, a <laughs> on Sunday <laughs> night. <laughs> he might lose his final tooth. Maybe. We'll have Maybe. to wait and see. He could win, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger things have happened, I suppose. Anyway, here he is. It's Dave! Dave! <laughs> I wish
wish you could make a like just say D <laughs> for ages. That'd be amazing. We could say D A A A A A A A Dave. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Dave. I just Dave, 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 Dave. Dave, 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 Dave. Yeah, that's pretty great. Oh, boy, folks. Uh, no expectations for the rest of this show. <laughs> Until our main event, which features Karamezzo and Satterfield fighting for a title shot against Breaking Dad and his son, Matt Storm. Oh, baby. He is better on his way to the ring. Amazingly, extra arm spot, not able to keep up with the power walk. <laughs> no, not a chance in hell. Buzzer. <laughs> 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 Here we go. We're stripped down and ready to wrestle, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Dave going right after Bezel, tossing him by the head. And he wants to look as strong as he can going into Sunday. Maybe put some doubt into Extra Arms Bot's uh, memory processing brain <laughs> chip thing. Yep. <laughs> brain chip thing. Absolutely. That is the technical term for it. Sure it is. Oh, what a vicious kick from Better. Oh, what a kick, and he's fucking going bouncing off for another one. Oh, going right Ooh. into it. The running kick shades of Daniel Bryan himself. And uh, Bezel getting right back into this match. Oh, not for very long, though. Double leg takedown there. Ooh. And then stomps him right in the <laughs> right in the blurred spot. Yeah. A vicious cock stump. Oh, wow, look at that beautiful drop kick. David, it'll actually be three in a row because uh, Dave won on Monday night and he also won that four man elimination match the week before, which got him into this position at all. Yeah. And look at this the full Boston crap to the man from just outside Boston. Bezel ain't going to tap to that. No one does. <laughs> Yeah, Bezel. No, no, that's not the move. You got to do the half crab or nothing. <laughs> yep. No. Oh. Bezel just loves lying on top of a man, so he'll get he'll get in for that attempt. <laughs> no. <laughs> Even though I had little chance of success. <laughs> Oh, oh. Bounces him right into that knee Ooh. twice over. Well done by Dave. And side rush and leg sweep to end the sequence. Nicely done. Dave feeling it now. He's in control. Yeah, great stuff from Dave thus far. Here's a pinning attempt. Just a one count. <laughs> oh, big miss. Oh, comes up empty, yeah. And here comes Bezel, forearm to the face. Docking some sense into Dave. <laughs> and oh, look out. This doesn't look good. Evil intentions here by Bezel. Hangs him down, tree of woe, and drop kick right into the bread basket. Yeah, and he lands on his head there. Absolutely savage. Dave sending him off the ropes. Oh, no, they bounce off each other. Very evenly matched right now. Here comes Bezel. Oh, oh are we going to see it? Awesome. Yes! <laughs> oh, no! Watch out, Dave! That mask should do some protection, but not from all the holes. <laughs> and there he goes, Dave, taking the stink face. <laughs> yeah, be loving it. Cheer him on. <laughs> oh, he might actually have it. I forget if he has the Bronco Buster, too. Yeah, he might do, yeah. 
He's got mo- uh, a mostly crotch uh, target or crotch directed offense. <laughs> yeah, and he is the Benzai oh, drop. <laughs> A Benzai drop, and he holds on for the pin. This could be it. He's got him. Yes. Oh, my goodness. And that is that bezel asserting dominance. Dave is going to have to go back to the drawing board because let me tell you, Bezel's a tough, stiff competitor in the ring, <laughs> but he's no extra arms bought. No, that's and crazy. that's who's awaiting Dave on Sunday night. <laughs> What a performance from Bezor! Yeah, that wasn't really a mark on Dave. That was just absolutely dominating from Bezel, wasn't it? Incredible. Yeah, Bezel. I mean, Bezel hasn't been back in the JFW for very long. He would love to get something going. Well, maybe. He doesn't really love anything. <laughs> He'd probably feel obligated to get something going at some point. <laughs> but, folks, we can't talk more about Bezel because we've got the match of the century geared up here. We've been waiting all year for this one. Okay. It's going to finally happen here. Crusher versus Marcel McDaniels. And oh, baby, this is going to be a fierce and furious matchup that is going to live up to expectation. Absolutely. Let's get straight into it. Absolutely. Here we go. Oh. Wait, wait a second. That's Antsy. What's Antsy doing backstage? I'm There's sorry, Muppet. not Antsy, to Scotty. Antsy's friend, he's going. Yeah, look at this. Muppet, Muppet. picking a fight here with the Scotty. Of course, Muppet Pac-Man facing off against Antsy on Sunday for the Plim Plom Pluseaway title. And I think the enforcer here, and or, God damn it, to Scotty. <laughs> Maybe coming to soften him up a little bit before their match. And folks, uh, I, I'm really sorry to say it, no. but it sounds like we're going to have to bump out of uh, Crusher versus Marcel McDaniels for time no. here. we got to stay with this. I know, <laughs> but we've got, you know, we've got a title contender in a, in a dangerous situation backstage. we got to keep the cameras on him. That's so we're going to stick here with Muppet Pac-Man versus Descotti. <laughs> Muppet trying to fight back here. Nice move. Find Muppet there. Oh, and again. Pasty power. God, do you know what? I can't remember the last time I had a pasty. <laughs> was... I can, because I... it was the last time I was in England, because it's the first and last thing <laughs> I always eat whenever I go to England. Oh, it was probably gym con. It was probably gym con. I had a pasty in the morning. After not sleeping at all. There's a breaks. little, there's a little kiosk at um, at uh, Gatwick, uh, mm -hmm. that sells them, and it's the first thing I grab before I grab the train to London when I go. Glorious. I really like cheese and onion. Mm. I don't mind a cheese and onion. I'll take any meat in them too, but <laughs> cheese and onion because usually I'm getting there after like an overnight flight. So, uh, cheese and onion feels right for the morning. Yeah, steak and ale's good. That's a little. It's a little too heavy though for when I have gotten off a seven-hour flight. Oh. I mean, a steak and ale is more of a pie as well, isn't it? Let's be honest. That's more of a pie than. A pie. I, I mean, I've seen them in pasty form though. At the. It's more. It's more of a pie than. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I would say it's more famous as a pie than a pasty. <laughs> Steve Motti, Regor's, Regor's probably a bit more filling than a pasty. Oh, God. I think it's hard to look past a Cornish pasty. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> I thought Muppet Pac-Man was having those same continuing <laughs> evil intentions with the uh, electrical panel. Yeah, it looked like it. He's beaten, he's beaten up this guy here, isn't he, to be honest? This is not a clinical attack from this guy here to take out, to take out Ansi's opponent. This is just... I'm getting the shit kicked out of him by a midget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that didn't really go so well for Descotti. Oh, nice uh, aerial attack there. Looks like he might have hurt his knee, though. And, you know, Maybe. Muppet's got to be careful. He's probably pretty furious about this assault. But he's got to be pretty careful with his body in this one because he has a huge match to try and get that title back on Sunday. Yep. 
Yeah, Tony and Preston's folk, my favorite. Folks, I'm hearing in my ear right now Mr. Jim McMahon signing over directly saying he doesn't like the Plim Plum Pluserweights when they take up TV time. And Plim Plum Pluserweights backstage brawling here, canceling a scheduled match. He's going to make antsy and Muppet Pac-Man. Oh, no, Muppet, no. Oh, no, Muppet. No, don't do it. Don't do it, Muppet. No, Muppet, no. <laughs> oh my god add to the ranks that might have that might have guaranteed uh well he's still going <laughs> the scotty's a fucking rhinoceros good <laughs> lord <laughs> anyway as i was saying mr jim man just announcing he's going to make that plim plum pluserweight title match a backstage brawl between muppet pac-man and antsy this sunday at fast lane he just shrugged off that electric fan. <laughs> and he's got a fucking jump and leg drop and another stop. And he's just like, fuck this. That's oh, all you bastard. Good lord. I mean, he is a former He's a former champion. He beat Tony Plays poorly for the world title. And, but like, that, like, look, Elp basically disintegrated when he hit that panel. Jimmy Fantastic was in the hospital for three months from that, and Descotti might have just shrugged it off and knocked out <laughs> Muppet Pac-Man. Oh my goodness, my Descotti. What? Yeah, what he must have been high monster. on some Gregs or something. Good <laughs> lord. What an absolute monster. <laughs> Good shit. lord. Well, look out, uh, Muppet. You got more fighting to do on Sunday backstage. And uh, Ansi's going to be back there waiting. And I got to believe the, a sanctioned backstage brawl. There ain't no other rules. You got to believe he's going to have to contend with uh, Descotti again, too. <laughs> <laughs> G5 All that electricity just fixed a heart murmur That would otherwise go undetected <laughs> <laughs> Oh my good lord Fucking <laughs> hell <laughs> Fucking hell And uh, next up folks Welcome back to the JFW It hasn't been a great return For Fault Force and Shawnee As a uh, Ham Force? No. Um, Rude Ham. Rude Ham has returned, and now they're going to get the test of the former champs. Cock and oh, ball boy. torture. And now this is an interesting combination, because if you look at the left side of your screen there, it kind of looks like two guys who are signed on for some cock and ball <laughs> torture. I don't know what kind of offense Cocky and Moradam can throw at these two that they probably aren't going to enjoy. <laughs> But we'll find out momentarily as uh, this car crash of a match goes underway. Oh, baby. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> really, Bezel? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of crotches and genitals, <laughs> look at these two. <laughs> oh, boy. Big ham. Hello, El. Hello, oh, El. <laughs> Elp, I don't know if you just saw that, but uh, you almost had a uh, <laughs> you almost had a a a, a, a hospital uh, guest uh, visitor or whatever who also got thrown into an electrical panel. Uh, Descotti thrown into the same one you were thrown into, but unlike you, he shrugged it off and kept fighting because he's not a pathetic excuse for a JFW superstar. Wow. Enjoy your hospital bed, you loser. Wow, gorilla. You gotta let a dog in. <laughs> wow. It's <laughs> a bit harsh there from Gorilla, I do apologize. And here's cock and ball torture. Unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know what else you could have done to win that one, Muppet. <gasps> yeah, no, I fucking nearly killed the guy. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't possibly... Like, 
Like, Elf, you could be the biggest optimist on the planet, and I know you're not, and you couldn't believe that, that any of that statement was going to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't argue with that. <laughs> oh, boy. Two of the best but if you, bellies if you, in the JFW If you think here. a team like EZ could walk around with the two heads titles... <laughs> Come on, man! Just have a look at look at our look at our current and former champs. I mean, okay, maybe cock and ball torture aside, <laughs> they have the bearing of champions. You're a fucking pigeon and a either an ape or a man in an ape suit. We're not really sure. You're no <laughs> champions. Come on, man. Also, I don't even know if you're going to be able to wrestle again with those injuries. <laughs> But neither here nor there for this one. Here is. Okay, the return of Ruham. The re-return of Ruham. Yeah, glorious. And, uh, Sorry, I'll just I've got to interrupt right. you there for a second there, Skuro. Thank you very much, Night Demon, for the 500 bits. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much, and see you on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I had to. I had to. Ah, see, see you, Night Demon. No, no, it's fine. I didn't notice it. But yeah, Cocky fighting back here. But Rude Ham was looking pretty good early on in this match. Cocky might want to think about going to the other corner, trying to get a tag into Moradam. Hit the literal fucking goblin in the ring and targeting balls. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you're completely correct, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. The counter from uh, Cocky there. Incredible. Indeed. Not utilizing this time to tag out, as you said, he probably should have done. Or at least try I, and get I think, back to his I think that could have been a mistake. Oh my oh. god! He just bounced off of Fault Force. Maybe he slipped off him with all that baby oil. Yeah, maybe. But Fault Force firmly in control, although he suplexed him right over to safety there. He's just got to get up and put his hand up and let Mordam tag himself in. Yep. Smartly moving him back, though. Thoughtful surprising everybody with his intelligence there. And here comes the here intelligent one, Sean. <laughs> yeah, well, some, something like that. And there we go. What, like white corners in a meme, Shawnee with the big drop to make a... Uh, make, oh, no, to get himself clotheslined by Cocky Cocky, two on one these guys right now. <laughs> yeah, not a problem for him as as we saw him uh, as we saw him win against massive odds before, haven't we? And he beat the Das Hats, didn't he, by himself? Um, how old do I? <laughs> Probably not, Bezel. But why would you call Breaking Dad a shithead? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think he was referring the other team. Mm, that seems that seems unlikely. <laughs> and cocky just going the distance here, but he doesn't have to. He could really should could think about going around. over. He's gonna pursue here. If I know anything about cocky, fixing his diaper and yeah, going <laughs> out of the ring here. Really got to think about tagging in Moradam, even if he's got the advantage here. It's just it's just good. You know, it's good practice. Yep. Keep the fresh man going, but look out, Shawnee. Sets him up on the apron there. Doesn't do anything to him. <laughs> oh. And here we go. Him. Now Cocky in serious trouble. And here comes the big man, Fault Force, to oh, come oh. in and uh, unprotected kick no. to the ribs and flattens him with the big boot. And sure enough, Cocky paying for his crimes here, trying to win this match himself. Really needs to think about getting over to his corner in any way he can and getting more damn into this match. Hello, yeah, Friday, fuckboy Tom Schniz. Big counter from Foley. Oh, the half Boston Crab wrenching the Aussie knee there, but he hangs on, kicks out, and surely he's going to head over for more damn here. Surely. Oh, sends him into a neutral corner. Oh, it's Shattered oh. Dreams. Oh, well, I don't think this is going to work the way he thinks it's going to work. <laughs> this might wake Fall Force up. Get him Look how excited he looks. <laughs> oh, oh, sure enough, Fall Force, yeah, he's uh, on the ground and smiling right now. 
He's okay with the human contact. Two count to Kaki. Doesn't kick out. It was hard for him to kick out of that one. Loving that hooked leg. Man on man action. Yeah, I think he could have kicked but out. But here we go. Up. Finally got to tag in Moradam. <laughs> I think he could have tagged out. I think, I think he could have kicked out at zero, but just chose to stay. Just you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's so much. And more damn in like a Spitfire double axe handle of the arm backstabber, and look at this inverted rock bottom. Yeah, he's on fire. Absolutely, the literal fucking goblin cackling as he cranks on that neck. Savage. Big stomp. Big stomp to the armpit. Oh, the self rock bottom! <laughs> the self rock bottom! Oh boy. More damn. Just picking Fault Force apart right now. Of course, uh, if you if you know your JFW history, you know this is about the point in the match when Shawnee just bailed on Fault Force, <gasps> ending <laughs> ending the, the the original run of uh, <laughs> of, of Rude Ham. Looks like he's hanging on thus far. Neither of their careers went very far without each other. Maybe trying to get something going for yeah. WrestleMania. And look at this! Oh, what a DDT! Brutal. Yeah, trying to recapture that Rude Ham magic. I think. <laughs> oh, Hello, Lean Garrett. One half of the tag team champs in the house. You'll be finding out who you're playing in. Who playing? Who you're playing with? Who you're fighting at Fastlane in, in the in the next match? Is it? Is it the next match? Uh, the main event. It should be. I think. Maybe there's one more. I don't even remember. And oh, Shawnee now tagging in, and Mordem missing wildly with that drop kick. Uh, next match is Rick versus PC, and then, That's then right. it's the yep. main event. Yep. Oh, look at it—the beautiful knee drop from Shawnee. Oof. Absolutely, targeted, and he goes right in for the pin on Mordem. No one coming in the ring to help. Oof. Mordem kicks out at two. Oh, but look at this. Shawnee may be thinking about that figure four. I think he is. He sure Woo. is, and this could be <laughs> it for Moradam. Look out. Will he oh, tap? Boy. The literal fucking goblin. Oh, no, he's, he's, reversed, he's reversed it on Shawnee. He's reversed it. Shawnee has to break the hold. And, hey, what do you know? The figure <laughs> four, not the best of submissions. <laughs> Oh, nice. oh, what a maneuver by Moradam. That almost knocked Shawnee out cold. <laughs> he loves to taunt. And now Moradam getting all fired up. Nice bicycle kick. Oh, just beating his face. Faulty not trying to break it up? Doesn't have to. One or two can. Oh, Fall Force just watching him pin him. Had perfect faith in Shawnee to kick out of that one. Yep. They're uh, not they they're a thing that no one cares about. They are yeah. still in wrestling rings. They're not in this game. Yeah. Cranking that neck on Shawnee. Got to believe, uh, you know, another uh, ball-centric uh, maneuver is uh, lining up here for Moradam. Oh, shit, look at this. Oh, it was a count from Shawnee. Tom, if I were you, I would throw the next two seasons and then win the ninth oh. season so you could <laughs> be the winner 69. <laughs> Yeah, J5, J5, once again, we share a brain. <laughs> or you could just be, uh, you could just be like, win six, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> <laughs> You'd oh, be better at counting than Dimmy, that's for damn sure. Yeah. Oof. 
Oh, the Wily Goblin though with the counter and the kick to the face. Oh, look at that though from Shawnee. Oh, Incredible. Dirty counter there by Shawnee. Real quick on that kick. And he's going to tag in Fall Force. Oh, boy. Oh. Instant. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fall Force whiffing and getting caught in the balls. And here's the pinfall. Oh, boy. Oh, oh Cocky took the long way round. Yep. Shawnee going to pay for it, but the match is saved. And now it's not looking very good for Rude Ham. <laughs> very good, Bessel. That's what we're going to do in here. Evil intentions from the literal fucking goblin. Yeah, board him with that classic, uh, cla classic dress for business right there. Mordam <laughs> celebrating himself in the middle of the ring. Fall Force is completely out of it right now. Oh, he was oh, playing no, possum. He was playing possum. <laughs> he was playing possum in the corner. Oh, wow. nice Sounds about him. right, J5. <laughs> Oh, look at that, what a move. Oh, oh boy. He's, he's ready to hit him with a <laughs> hamstone pile driver. Lee and Gary firing shots he doesn't need to fire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, table leg. And there it is. Oh, oh no. Shawnee had the cover, yeah. but Mordam <laughs> able to kick out. Unbelievable. Shawnee was in there perfectly yep. to protect that pinfall. Yeah, they were like, yeah, amazingly, Fault Force played possum. Oh, but he's getting a nice testicular claw there. He'll be, he'll be happy about oh. that. <laughs> His balls are playing possum now. <laughs> Oh, look out, Fall Force. I think there's more coming Ooh. for your balls. And there it is. Ref doing nothing about it. Fall Force down and probably out. But Sean, <laughs> he's right there to be able to break up the pin. Yeah, and there's no cocky. No cock at all. And I'm not just talking about Fall Force. <laughs> yep, easy yep. breakup from Shawnee. Absolutely. Sheila doing absolutely nothing to help her team. <laughs> yep. <laughs> classic, classic Sheila. Oh, a second self rock bottom by Moradam. Oh, I could end and it. And Fall Force is, is hurting, but and now Cocky up on the apron. Something could happen here for Cock and Ball Torture. Ooh, sling Blade. Oh, sling Blade by Moradam. He went a bit slow motion there for a second, didn't he, Moradam? <laughs> yeah. Now he's back to a. Getting tired, I guess. And look at this. Look at the amount of torque he's applying to that arm, lifting. Fall Force off the ring. Yeah. Bending that arm viciously in the way it was expressly designed to be bent. <laughs> <laughs> Devastating. Uh, is it Fault Force table leg? <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. If so, then yes. Shawnee <laughs> <laughs> once again refusing to tag in Fall Force, jumping off the apron. Fall Force not sure what to do with himself now. <laughs> just looking at Shawnee back sky. up on Who the, on the apron. <laughs> he just jumped down. Shawnee once again, he's not abandoning him. But he's not he's not tagging in anytime soon. Nope. Maybe uh maybe perfectly content to have Fall Force take all of the uh testicle attacks. I mean I think Fall Force would be happy to take them as well, so <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's win win. <laughs> oh, and here we go again. Well, he's gonna take another one. <laughs> oh god. And there it <laughs> is. Ping pot. 
And the pin, Shawnee coming it's in to break this up, Shawnee. though. Oh, big counter from Shawnee. Shawnee's just saving this match, any single hand. Ball force. Ball force looks like a goddamn corpse, and I don't just mean <laughs> because he's bloated and white <laughs> and colorless. <laughs> Shawnee flashlights. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, Shawnee. Oh, dear me. All for us finally going to tag in Shawnee. Now Shawnee likes his odds. Tags in. <laughs> and gets elbowed to the face. Oh, and DDT and open. busted open. <laughs> Shawnee going to regret tag again. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's Maybe, like uh, rude ham. <laughs> Shawnee didn't want to tag to in go before. Back. Sorry. Oh, that's right. Shawnee didn't want to tag in before, but one, he realized he wasn't bleeding, so he had to tag in. <laughs> oh, oh, look oh, out, Shawnee. Oh, oh, look out, Shawnee. What a tag team maneuver. And now here comes that discus kick. <laughs> oh, the eye rake as well. Oh. Oh, and that's going to do it for Shawnee, but more damn celebrating. Not going to protect this pin. <laughs> oh, God, Fault Force just clobbers the ref. Cocky can't pick up Fault Force. He's too big. No. The big ham is too big. <laughs> ref is down and out. Shawnee recovering, maybe. No, not recovering. Taking another DDT <laughs> to that already injured head. They just covered in blood. Oh, look how much blood. Holy <laughs> shit. He's gushing. He's a gusher, folks. <laughs> much like Ric Flair. Yep. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Tom Schmitz. Oh, dear. Oof. Fall for his cannot be happy to be back in the ring right now but i mean shawnee is literally bleeding out in front of us so <laughs> yeah there is that nice little <laughs> oh he tapped ball force, tapped. ball force tapping to the hamstring stretch there <laughs> maybe he was a little disappointed his balls were getting uh ignored on that one ball force tapping out at another miserable match for root ham i don't know what else to do with root ham jimmy that was terrible <laughs> and uh right back to their winning ways cock and ball torture coming out of this one victorious yeah my god. Oh boy, next up we got two fan favourites facing off. PC and Rick. Uh, indeed, Rick Reckless continuing on his run to the main event of WrestleMania where he will face either Extra Arms Bot or, well, it's Extra Arms Bot, but Extra <laughs> Arms Bot does have to defend his title against Dave this Sunday. And, uh, yeah, the winner of that match faces Rick Reckless at WrestleMania in the main event. Purple Chess going to stumble his way out to the ring and try his hand against the fan favorite himself, the Blood Bull Jesus Cowboy Rick Reckless. Yep. Hello, Foxamania. Well, you've had the week off. Uh, you've had the week off with the rest of the YPA and Flicky Flack to enjoy. But get ready, Sunday night, the YPA. It's JBG and Foxamania taking on Gedanik and Gengar of six feet down under in a table elimination match. Oh, boy. I think. <laughs> what a match. Table. Yep, table elimination match, and good lord, is that a scary match? The first elimination is going to leave the uh, other team member in a terrifying spot against 
two 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 people and a bunch of tables. Yep. Birmingham. We like ourselves some table eliminations, fucker. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Here he is. Rick Reckless coming out. He's your Royal Rumble winner. He is the chosen one. He is here, and he's ready to get himself to the main event of WrestleMania. The bull Jesus himself. <laughs> and look at those fans. They could not be happier to have Rick Reckless back in action tonight. Yep. And luckily in the JFW ring for WrestleMania, Rick can't do a classic Rick and come in with like Kislev or something stupid. <laughs> He's going to have to bring himself in there and wrestle his way to the extra arms belt championship. But standing in his way at about 17 feet tall is extra arms bought. And that is going to be amazing, folks. I cannot wait for JFW WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. Not Superstar Mania like that other show has. <laughs> These are wrestlers, so it's WrestleMania. We totally invented it. We did. We invented WrestleMania. No one couldn't prove otherwise. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Off to a nice start on Purple Chest thus far is Rick Reckless. Of course, Rick suffering his first loss since his return at the Royal Rumble in a tag match against uh, Extra Arms Bot and Bezel. His tag partner was Goliath. Uh, I don't know who took the pin in that match. I believe it was Goliath. But uh, Rick, Rick wants to keep on winning and looking as strong as he can to get to WrestleMania. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, Mrs. Wanger. I'm also used to being battered by table. <laughs> oh dear. It was not scripted, Goliath. It was not scripted. It's vicious rumors. This is uh this is live and uh though it's not predetermined at all folks. They can't teach you how to fall. <laughs> the old half crab from Rick, devastating maneuver. Oh wow, <laughs> totally misses. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Purple chest putting some offense into Rick Reckless right now. That the uh, Royal Rumble winner is going to have to get something going here. Purple chest does have a size and strength advantage. Rick's got a pretty much everything else advantage. Um, you know, yep. win winning ability, looks, <laughs> youth, sight, um, likability. <laughs> the power of sight is on his side. <laughs> sight, yes, basic things like sight, <laughs> ability to still have an orgasm, probably. I'm just kidding. I love me some PC. Oh, man. Maybe we should have PC sponsored by Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> He's not watching right now, so we can say whatever we want about it. <laughs> oh man, we well, could have his swimming badge on his on his costume. <laughs> <laughs> Good old PC. Well, speaking of PC, getting something going here, but Rick trying to squash it out. Oh, oh sends him out of the ring. Oh, big fall. He tosses him straight off. Not, not pursuing him out of the ring though, he's happy just to wait for PC to uh, bumble his way. Oh, go in the wrong direction there. <laughs> oh, he gets him though! And pulls him off! <laughs> and here comes PC! 
wouldn't this be something for purple chest to get a big win here purple chest for all the for all the fun we have with them has been in some incredible matches and he's been a hair's breadth away from being a champion against uh, night demon for that web dope title he's he's just missing one or two pieces and when he gets those going i think he's going to go on a long jfw run uh the problem is uh his advanced age might cut that short <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's like three years older than me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. But it's <laughs> uh, shades of shades of fault force there. <laughs> it's celebration. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they did maybe different need different tones or different move sets. Goliath Games explaining the joke, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big power slam. Indeed, nice scoop slam there. I can't pick oh, and Rick nice not counter. able to do the same oh, in response. Look at that. Brilliant. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> well, if you're going to break a bone, at least uh, coccyx is fun to say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not fun to land on, though, I imagine. No. Wanger might still have a video where he power bombed somebody onto some uh, onto some bags of sand, and then the bags of sand parted, and the guy's ass hit the floor. It looked very, very painful. <laughs> PC, PC lining up something big here. It's the Look at this by driver. PC Tombstone pile driver to Rick. Oh. He might have done it. He might have gotten him here. No. Oh. Two count, Rick kicks out. Unbelievable stuff. That was worse than that. Have you got the video still, Wang? I mean, I only saw it like once or twice, but it, it looked bad. <laughs> I didn't want to oversell it when I couldn't remember it. <laughs> Completely, but it, it was bad. Oh, wow. Big, big comeback here from PC. Maybe you can get another... Indeed. Another move on. Purple chest is just absolutely shocking the world right now. Taking it to Rick Reckless. Might get himself a win. <laughs> right, oh, look at on. this. Look at this. Rick Reckless going up top. Oh, PC up on his feet. Oh, PC oh, catches him. him. He <laughs> caught him on the crossbody. What a maneuver oh, by oh. Purple Chess. Incredible. That is brutal, table lad. Jesus. <laughs> don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> yeah. And especially don't don't try it in the concrete floor. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> but if you're but if you're gonna try it, be the guy that perp uh, that that table leg was, not the guy the table leg did it to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hundred percent. Oh, flip me! Oh, flip me! Oh, this could be it. Hello, poopy scoop. No! Oh, oh two count. count! I thought he had it. Rick gets a long two count there, and this match continues. Purple Chest, a heroic effort here. Can he find the will to come back and go after and get the win against Rick Reckless? Whew. Unbelievable! Oh, Pro probably not after no. this. Nope. It's the <laughs> speaking of Razor's yeah. Edge. He is one. The crucifix power bomb from Blood Bowl Jesus. <laughs> God damn it. Good Lord. Good Lord. <laughs> oh. PC firmly in control here. Incredible Indeed, performance. He sure is. Oh, a little slow on the uptick there to go after Rick outside the ring. Oh, now now <laughs> we're okay. It's been a long match, folks. They're both getting tired. <laughs> oh, Rick's got the top. And another Rick. Uh, yeah, the Rick, be, Rick roll coming, Rick I think. Roll coming. 
Oh, BC back on his feet. Oh. Another cross body. That one he can't catch. Halfway across the ring. And he's going up top now. Rick roll time. This could be the Rick roll. This could be it. Indeed it could be. Rick up top rope. No, no, just oh, an elbow. He misses drop. with the elbow. <laughs> Dropped the elbow and missed it. Purple chest. Low kick there. Purple chest on his feet. Can the old man do it? <laughs> Can, Can the old man do nothing? it? <laughs> He's thinking about it. Sundowning a little bit in the middle of the ring, and he got caught with a net breaker. <laughs> and now one more time to the top rope. Is this the Here Rick comes roll? Rick. Rick going to fly. Woo! Rick roll. Nails it, and the pinfall is in. That's got to do it. It's got to be it. It is. And that's going to do it. Rick Reckless, your winner, but good Lord, take nothing away from Purple Chest on that one. Absolutely fantastic match between those two. And Rick Reckless standing tall, um, tall, looking for that sign for the main event of WrestleMania where he will face Extra Arms Bot, or, or Dave, for the Extra <laughs> Arms Belt Championship. Yep. <laughs> Glorious. What a, what a match and a great performance from PC, but you know, Rick just too strong. And here's the main event. Oh boy. oh, boy. Classic. That was as classic a, uh, a purple chess match as you can have. You know, we, <laughs> we bury him on the mic for 20 minutes and he puts on a five star match. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and here we go, folks. Who will face. Das Hats at Fastlane. Will it be Skirmetso and Satterfield, or will it be Breaking Dad and his son, Matt Storm? They are Breaking Storm. Oh, boy. It's anyone's guess. <laughs> Two absolute fantastic... No, I can't say it. Two tag teams. <laughs> Two tag teams. <laughs> and, uh, you know, someone's going to win. Well, the two of them averaged together have had a single career. None of them have won anything of importance. Can Skrull and Satterfield finally get those titles after two months of trying? Or will Breaking Dad and Matt Storm, after a year in the JFW, finally break out? Yeah, maybe. Or will either team be able to over outlast uh, the uh, the greatest tag team of all time, Doss Hats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. This is the perfect entrance for the uh, for the shit attire. <laughs> <laughs> yep, absolutely. Coming out like they're uh, trying to relive his heyday <laughs> seven months ago. <laughs> Long past due. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in, in wrestling, yeah, in wrestling, in wrestling, Scaramezzo, of course, famed as the SFL two-time champion, the winner three, the winner five. And of course, he looking did. to go. Sorry. In, in JFW, no. he did win that Royal Rumble, didn't he? The shit rumble he won. And the shit rumble was not in the JFW. It was very purposefully not in the JFW. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. It in was wrestling. In, it was on shit, yeah. No, Scaramezzo, Scaramezzo, a very accomplished singles wrestler, you know. He won the greatest backstage brawl of all time, one of the greatest matches in wrestling history. You know, he he's won a Royal Rumble, a 30-man Royal Rumble. Uh, he's done a lot, but he has never, ever had a championship belt. Yeah. And neither of these and, guys. <laughs> no, standing is standing in their way is the father-son duo Breaking Storm. It's Breaking Dad and Matt Stryker. Fuck. <laughs> I've been so good for weeks. Yeah. It's not Matt Stryker, it's Matt Storm. Matt Storm. <laughs> Very energetic is Matt Storm. <laughs> Fat bastard, not so much. <laughs> yeah. 
Of course, uh, Breaking Storm winning a TLC match to get in here. Incredible stuff. And uh, Skirmetso and Satterfield winning a table elimination match. Yep. <sighs> yeah, Man Striker is, a, is famed for his big package. <laughs> oh dear. The real the real wrestler Matt Striker, not not the Matt Storm that you miss miss call. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and nice here we go. Tag team action underway. That's correct, El yep. Absolutely. Oh look at this by breaking dad just ragdolling Skuro right off the bat and oh my god dropping his big ass right on the big man oh boy. <laughs> you can you can do that all you want help but you got to win matches to get title shots or you know wrestle in them at all <laughs> fucking loser <laughs> <laughs> Gorilla fiery as ever. <laughs> Speaking of winners, Skuro got the advantage again. Working, breaking Dad into the corner, tagging in Satterfield. Good tag team acumen there. Yep. Not so much stompy acumen, but he, he gets him with a knee there. <laughs> and there's, a, there's a tag for them, so there you go. Break and storm. They must have found a bit of fun to win that TLC match, so you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, you know they 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 have, they have put on some great tag team matches in the past. They just haven't put all those pieces together in one. You know we say that of a lot of a lot of JFW wrestlers. It's hard to win matches in the JFW. It's harder to do it consistently. Almost impossible, in fact. <laughs> Almost impossible, <laughs> especially when we try and coax the, the yeah. results. <laughs> yep. Oh dear. Uh, no, Dave, I'm definitely not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Satterfield managed to dodge <laughs> that running knee attack. Makes the tag and here we go tag yeah tag and Skuro back in quick tags by uh, Skuro and Satterfield there keep their advantage going and Skuro now in you know looking like calcium Kaz uh, <laughs> fighting a fighting the 14 year old of course Skuro well versed in defeating calcium Kaz when he did so in uh, the SFL championship uh, <laughs> season five. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I, I want to make utterly clear that, first of all, I don't represent Skiramezzo. I am Gorilla Mezzo, and I definitely am not insinuating that Dave could possibly win that title. Wow, <laughs> 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 Elvis Savage. <laughs> Well, he's got a lot of quiet time to sit and work on his material, so fair <laughs> enough to him. Six count here. Skuro going back in the ring. He knows he does not want to get double counted out in this one because uh, i got to believe that would end in a triple threat on Sunday. Yep. Oh, look at that super kick. Big super kick to the big man, Skuro. Oh, he's right back on his feet, winds him up. What a clothesline. By breaking dad. Skuro in some trouble here. Look at that headbutt as well. Breaking dad is getting control of uh, Skuro here. It absolutely is. Skuro in trouble. Needs to tag in Satterfield. Winds him up and gives him a close line of his own. And that's how you turn the tables. And sure enough, gets him right where he wants him. Friendly corner. Tag into Satterfield. Big move coming here. Look out, Breaking Dad. Oh, double shoulder charge. Two big lads. 
But Breaking Dad just shrugs it off and comes back with his own shoulder charge. Well, another big back body drop and Satterfield <laughs> having a <to> sit. <laughs> Loves the rest of Satterton. Oh, oh. Breaking, Breaking Dad man. is bringing it tonight. He really is. Oh, jeez. Okay. Could we... Well, I guess we're spamming one move here for everyone. <laughs> I swear Jimmy and I are playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, wow. Oh. Artisanal gummies. <laughs> I really like Ooh. edibles all that much. Belly or belly? Indeed. And those are two big bellies to take that maneuver. <laughs> oh, the super kick. He almost got it above his waistline. <laughs> Oh, I thought, I thought he just out. randomly got him. Uh, Scarrow didn't come in on that one. Satterfield barely kicking out. Yeah. Oh, an Arcleo! Oh, oh no! An Arcleo out of nowhere. And he winded up with that big knee, just busted him open. Look out, breaking dad! Oh, oh no! And that'll put your lights out. Two huge power moves by Satterfield. Breaking Dad just shrugs it off. Yeah, he's a resilient motherfucker. <laughs> Isn't he just? Look at this. Look at the power. Samoan drop. Whew. Unbelievable. And now Camel Clutch. No, not Camel Clutch. Just teabags him in the lower back. <laughs> the oh, are... look out. Yeah. They're coming in for Dad's this. Dad's eye drop, apparently. Scurro having to go through the ref to break that one up. Storm does nothing. Nope, he gets Scurro though. And he does another and one. Another! Oh no! Oh man, this could and be it! Off of the pin. He's got it! Oh my god! Breaking Storm has won at Scurro outside the ring and once again, Scurvetso and Satterfield denied a chance at the titles. And it's gonna be Breaking Storm versus Doss Hats <laughs> at Fastlane. My God, what a Cinderella story! Showing, beautiful, absolutely, and it's March Madness, and that's a that's a 16 seed beating a one seed there. And Breaking Storm, they did it exactly the way they needed to hit the power move. Skrull ran in to break it up and then got sent out of the ring and they went right back to a power move and a pin. You rarely see that. Excellent. They worked that out before the match. Great win for Breaking Storm. See you later, Skrull and Satterfield. <laughs> yep. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.